Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Queen's Z. I am Sanjeet. I have Dhruv, Andrea, and Aryan with me. And today we are discussing the new Netflix release, Trial by Fire, starring Abhay Deol and um, I forgot. Rajshree Deshpande. Rajshree Deshpande. Rajshree Deshpande. What a star! <laughs> who's basically <laughs> who, who's basically headlining the show? Picture six o'clock. It's over. Yes. Don't worry. Bye, ma. Bye, ma. Bye. Some more years. Then they'll be gone. हमारे बच्चे अंदर फंसे हैं अब तो अथॉरिटीज को एक्शन लेना ही पड़ेगा मैम आपको तो पता ही है ये सारी चीजें कैसे चलती है उपहास सिनेमा फायर में दोषियों की कमी नहीं है लेकिन उनमें मेरे मुआकिल बिल्कुल नहीं है उस आग में मेरा पूरा परिवार सात लोग थे मेरी पोती भी ये लोग सब बच के निकल जाएंगे कोई नहीं सुनना चाहता आजकल तो मतलब इवन इफ यू आर लेट टू अ सीरीज बाय 3 4 डेज इट्स लाइक यू आर ऑलरेडी आउट ऑफ द लूप आउट ऑफ द कन्वर्सेशन बट आई एम एक्चुअली ग्लैड दैट आई टुक माय टाइम टू गेट इनटू द शो एंड अनलाइक थ्रू आई कुड नॉट सिट टू ऑल द सेवन एपिसोड्स इन वन गो एंड ऑल्सो हैवन सेड दैट आई डू थिंक दैट द लास्ट थ्री एपिसोड एपिसोड्स व्हिच व्हिच आर लाइक 5 6 7 uh would benefit with a combined like in in one seating i think it would uh, work much better for the viewers who haven't seen the show yet and uh, the first episode i was like quite skeptical about how the show was going to go and uh, that day coincidentally i had just watched the last of us the first episode of that show which was which is from the same creator of another based on a true tragedy uh, series <clears throat> called chernobyl it's very chernobyl so mm. i immediately picked up on the uh, structural similarities between the between both the shows of uh, going this unconventional route to, to tell a story and after the first episode which left me a bit cold the rest of the entire series i pretty much loved and i genuinely think that episodes 4 5 mm-hmm. and 6 and especially episode 5 I genuinely think it's it's flawless in terms of its storytelling, all the boxes that it ticks, mm-hmm. in terms of its visual grammar. It's, I think it's one of the best shows I've ever watched in an Indian web show, and mm-hmm. uh, overall, it's it's a damn solid show, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm sure that we can we'll be getting it. I'll we'll be getting into much more of those uh, visual grammar and dynamics that I mentioned about, because uh, it's chilling. when you compare side by side the f- last shot of the first episode versus the last shot of the final episode mm-hmm. which tells a story which ta- tells a different tragedy in itself mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so i loved how it was respectful to the victims and it did not it did not just play into the tragedy aspect of it to create mm-hmm. a spectacle but actually humanized its victims before you could even get to the actual tragedy unroll mm. in front of the screen mm andrela okay so uh, it's kind of the same things i absolutely loved episode 6 it was a stand out episode for me because i thought they were doing something which is so nuanced they mm. were not siding with the villains is fantastic mm. they were not mm-hmm. empathizing with the particular person in conversation mm. they are ensuring that they give you a before after but not i mean it's not so much of a before after but it's 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 a very nice way of storytelling and honestly i haven't watched so much stuff but 
i mm-hmm. think that's not something i've ever seen in a tv show episode mm-hmm. before which is why i was mm-hmm. genuinely impressed i ended up watching that episode twice just to understand what was happening and i mm-hmm. realized how flawlessly they blended both the both the sides of the story together at all times and even um, the time so jumps right yes exactly about yeah. the time jumps so that uh, of course again with the first episode i was a little skeptical because there's this one extremely haphazard cut right in one of the first scenes and i was like you know maybe maybe i won't buy this maybe it's going to be yes. just one of those netflix shows yeah. but then they actually do not like the drama that they try to pull off is not mm. uh, again it's 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 not they're not making a spectacle out of it mm-hmm. they are trying to give you just as much as you know and just must just as much as they could gather from it which mm. is again uh, which was fantastic for me so that mm. um, second episode onward i think i got hooked so second episode was the episode yeah. that moved me so that got me hooked to the show and then mm. sixth was understandably amazing for me because that's mm. not something i've ever seen seventh was again anxiety inducing in general but mm. I haven't watched Secret Games, so I do not know if I should call this the best uh, Netflix Indian show that I watched. You can, you can over that, over that, yes, over that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, but I think this is this is fantastic. This is mm-hmm. a fantastic watch. Yeah. Yes. Bro. Sorry, sorry, I had to put the Secret <laughs> Games uh, <laughs> dig there. Just, just because of the second season, the first season, right? It, it'll make a comeback somewhere. Don't worry. Yes, yes. Anyway, yeah. Anyways, though, I, I'm with uh, Aryan and Ahindral also largely, except mm-hmm. I think my preference for episodes mm-hmm. is more in t- tune with Aryan. Three. I, I have, I have. Mine is my favorites are three and five. I think, uh, those are the episodes that really got to me. Five was the uh, five was the Ratna Pataksha and. Uh, Anupam uh, heroes, 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 yeah. heroes, heroes one, yes. No, heroes was six. No, no, oh, villains yeah, is six. Oh, no, villains heroes was five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. so no, but I think again, whatever Ahindala and Aryan said, just the fact that the first episode, I was pretty much into it. I think from the first episode, I was worried about the pre-title sequence, just because I thought mm-hmm. they're going to build up and up and up, up. At the first episode, I thought will be a long build up to the tragedy. Mm-hmm. I thought they'll mm-hmm. milk out the suspense and like, you know, and the first episode, yeah. like it begins with this foreshadowing that the child is going to die when he dies in a video game. He's playing a yeah. video game and the character dies there. And I was like, you are not going to like elongate that throughout the first episode mm-hmm. to milk like the suspense out of it. And I was very glad about that hard cut that just like goes again, like through the tragedy. Like it, it you don't see it. It's already done. The fire yeah. is erupting. And it's like a complete contrast to the first, like the, the scene inside the house. And mm-hmm. after that, I was pretty much on board as, as the two have already said there were some technicalities I thought were a bit off in the first episode, especially there's one uh, short reverse short thing where I, I was like, what is going on? I, I had no idea. We'll discuss okay. this more, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I think episode two and three, I was very impressed by three, especially I was like, oh, I did really yeah. not expect it to expand mm-hmm. its perspective in a way in which it does. Mm-hmm. Fourth episode, I was a bit skeptical about I thought the way it was juggling uh, timelines was a little bit uh, unconvincing sometimes. Fifth episode sort mm-hmm. of kind of got back to it for me in the best possible way. Sixth episode we will talk about because I think I I have mm-hmm. a particular issue with it, which I know most people don't. So I think I mm-hmm. want to, we'll get to it in the end. But, but yeah, like it was just a heart wrenching show as it should be. Mm-hmm. And it emphasizes the tragedy I feel better than a lot of other shows. And I was now, because before recording, I was thinking about the documentary, the three-parter about the, uh, what's the Delhi one only? I forgot the name. It's not All Predator. Right. It's the one before that. Burari. You know? Burari, yes, oh, yes, yes. You're talking the about Burari, the, Netflix Burari, one. Okay. the Netflix one. And I thought, the last it, even though the, the case itself is so chilling, mm. I thought some of the making in that really emphasized like you know it really milked the suspense sometimes it really mm-hmm. went ahead and committed to almost news channel like uh, aesthetic mm-hmm. sometimes to uh, allow almost a sensationalist 
uh, feel to it. And this didn't feel sensationalist True. at all, exactly. I think. Yeah, yeah. And I feel yeah, that yeah, yeah. was the biggest relief I had uh, because I didn't feel mm -hmm. like it was doing it just because, you know, look, this is a big tragedy and all that. It's, it's really grounded True. in the human characters. And I think it's really yeah, trying yeah. to expand its scope. Like I know some people have complained that the show is too long. I felt this mm -hmm. is one of those shows that could go on for two, three more episodes and keep on expanding its characters and the range of people who were impacted. Because even in the last mm -hmm. episode, you have new characters being introduced, I think. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, and that's, yeah, yeah. And that's slightly a problem also, I think. But yeah. largely, I think it's um, to the show's benefit. And I mean, it's great. I, I mean, performances, of course, have been highlighted. But I think structure is the, some, something I was particularly bowled over by uh so mm -hmm. yeah i'll get into that later but yeah please watch it uh before sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, I agree with most of the interviews that have been spoken like because i love the show as well for mm -hmm. me the good part again was it, it wasn't the whole sensationalist way of telling a story because that's what most most netflix shows and stuff has been come up to right you know so the hook is the main thing which sells mm -hmm. i mean here i mean even though like like you spoke about the hard cut, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I was kind of into the story from the beginning itself. I, yeah. I kind of started, like I like the aesthetics, mm -hmm. the way it began. It's, it's a household story, you know? It, yeah. it begins with the... It begins chaos. with that... Uh, the With the... the burner, uh, right. Lighting which up the burner. Another, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another foreshadowing, which... I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yes, I'm like... Simple yeah. stuff. Simple stuff. Yeah. Nothing like, you know, overdoing or anything, I feel. Yeah. Uh, I like the whole chaos in the house, you know, going before a film and all of that felt very something, something I could also relate yes. to something yeah. that has happened in my house as well. I mean, yeah. I could see my mom being like, hey, you need to rush on and me rushing out of the house, whatever. Yeah. So I, I was into the show at that point itself, but mm. the best part about it being like, it wasn't sensational. It wasn't about the hook. Yeah. That's something which I cannot say about like the other. Uh, so I started watching the Burari thingy and I couldn't go beyond like the second episode. I mean, I, although I know it's like, what, three episodes, I think? The third episode is probably the least yeah. sensationalist, I think, actually. Uh, so so I think after that, I couldn't even finish Burari. the second episode. And yeah. The, just, just that Burari, they, they keep showing the same footage again yes. and again. Like after a certain point of time, you think it's okay. True. I yeah. mean, not, that's not exactly. Anymore. Oh, and then it's they're like, like more... full... sorry, sorry. And I, they keep I, I... zooming in faces no. of the of the people in the pictures it's it's yes. like it, uh -huh. it's supposed to haunt you in your dreams after that third episode like you yeah. won't be able to get the faces out of yourself just because you've seen them so many mm -hmm. times repeated and re-repeated yeah. i mean so that felt more like a news report like how they're the report in like news channels right showing the same yes. thing over and yeah. i just yeah. couldn't get into the whole tone of it so i was like not into it so, yeah. I mean, Netflix shows have kind of been that, right? Just the hook and then you watch it or whatever. True crime podcast substitute, basically. True right? crime. Yeah. yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. But this is more like about the tragedy and also about the melancholia attached associated with it. So I was like not aware about the, the tragedy itself. I mean, I had mm. never heard of it. I mean, that's mm. my bad in a way. Mm. But then when I get into it, also it has like a certain merit to it in, in, in terms of let's say is i mean not exactly historical accuracy because i cannot count this as like yeah. but but the the fact that something like this is kind of documented in a fictional manner it, it's gonna stay for like a longer period of time i yeah. mean with people or like stand the test of time in a way yeah. because the, the 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 journey of the show and the characters and in the real life association has also been over a period of like whatever 20 years time is the big thing no i i think for the show true, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also about like the meaningless of life and like, you know, like how a life could be so yeah. trivially taken into account and like yes. moved over. I, you know, uh, as I, I said, I, sorry, you were completing. No, no. Mm -hmm. no, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I was making a garbage comment. That's why I wasn't going to interrupt. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> No, when I said it's all about time, I felt like I was like Lydia Tar uh, in Tar. But I, was I haven't like, seen Tar. Yes. Anyways, uh, no, but, but yeah, I mean, I'm not... yes, no, 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 no it was fine. just the dialogue, and yes, never mind. <laughs> I, was, never I was kind mind. of done with it. I, I was just saying, like, you know, the the whole show became like kind of like a world you are living in, yes. So, every person, every character, everything in the world had something to do, even yeah, like the, the, the marketplaces where uh, 
Shekhar goes into for buying yes. stuff. They have their own space, their own. Yeah. I mean, could keep his box at a shop and go and go to a washroom to hide from uh, Ashish Vidyarthi's character. Yes. What his name? So I mean, I I really liked how everything and every aspect in the show was part of like a big machinery, and everything was all working for like in its own way for the whole world in itself. Yeah. So that's something that I really appreciate. Also, I think the way it's like. the film making kind of works in it not just the writing but like the way it's shot and like uh, edited yeah. whatever yeah. everything it has it does have like a lot of certain like the how certain tv shows are made like certain mm. tropes like the whole um, going back to the tragedy and cutting back into time and stuff like that and how actually the last episode plays out it's like typical tv shows that's how they play out right mm-hmm. um but i guess i i would let that go because i feel the the tropes were kind of needed for like to cater to a larger audience because now we are kind of more like you know used to that kind of style but without that it would have been something I thought, else actually i thought the tropiness was largely bypassed i thought at least like i didn't feel it to be except for again the some of the courtroom stuff was a bit tropey but but we'll get to no i mean a lot later. of things were tropey i mean i mean we are going to talk about episode 6 also later on which spoilers I mean, having, yeah i mean <laughs> from now onwards i guess yeah. but like there's yes. a thing that we will talk about i kind of think that is part of like the whole trope that comes into play as well in a are way are we starting like, there or should we start start at the good okay, stuff okay 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 <laughs> i mean start, even like, episode 6 has great stuff it's just it's a particular true, true. nitpick of mine which which is a problem for me but we'll get to that i think mm-hmm. first we can talk about whatever unanimous uh, ahindrala i think you you can start you said you really got mm-hmm. hooked into episode 2 so let's start from mm-hmm. sort of there right because i yeah. think you said you had a particular emotional connection to that part especially uh, no mm-hmm. it's not so much of an emotional connection it's just that how um, i mean i was really moved by the story of this man whose seven mm. family members died in that fire mm. and then what struck to me is how the whole community sort of comes together in the case of a death yes yes and mm-hmm. how it's mm-hmm. so different when there are two socio political classes socio economic mm-hmm. socio political classes involved mm-hmm. is what yeah. like the krishna murtis could get it done in one yeah. go and yeah. you do not really take that their like the death of their kid so much into account because you know how funeral uh, processions and like the entire thing happens mm-hmm. yes but yeah. you do not really i do not think any of us here have ever looked into the gullies of delhi mm. and checked ki how their funeral processions or how their arrangements are being made and everything yeah. which is why it was particularly relevant and i thought he acted so well the old That's man yashwant vasnik so i think I, yeah i'm so sorry i did not know the name yeah mm. uh mr yashwant was was amazing mm. because uh, i i thought that that entire sense of um i the, the entire sense of loss where it you're is. fumbling for your keys it's mm-hmm. it's also symbolical oh, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah that was uh, and yeah. and how people just jumped in like they are discussing yeah. that they will not be and so pertinent conversation they talk about how they don't want to give money because they want to uh, get the sewage system corrected yeah, so yes. that the rains do not bother them during the rainy season mm-hmm. it's yeah. it's fantastic like i that is why i thought it was something to to look into because we are now not only talking about the upper uh, class ka people yes. who Absolutely. have been affected yeah. by this tragedy is is what like in fact um, again i'm so bad with names um no the yeah I'm, I'm i just, i have noted I'm some down very... so i can help you out Yes, thank you so much. I'm just very unprepared. So, uh, there's this <laughs> no. uh, the dry fruit person, <laughs> Ishashish Vidyarthi. Ashish Vidyarthi. Ashish Vidyarthi. Yes, Ashish Vidyarthi. Yeah. Ashish so, Vidyarthi. yeah. So, Mr. Vidyarthi is again uh, fantastic because uh, there's that entire struggle to jump from one socio-economic background yes. to the other. Oh, another true. That's I think most emphasized in episode three, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Three, yeah, so, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And and Memorial. how. Think, yeah. Yeah, yes, right. uh, yes, yes. It's a yeah. memorial episode, huh? Yeah. And how that uh, that comes with a great cost that he's mm-hmm. also having to having to pay and like bear yeah. with for the sake of his family for what mm-hmm. his yes. family also wants 
out of him so mm -hmm. you have you are also looking at the patriarch in the eyes and seeing the uh, the sacrifices that he's having to make some in most cases unwillingly which is yeah. why i really mm -hmm. liked how they humanized the character like he goes and he actually um, says like he apologizes to the Goswamis. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. was yeah, yeah, yeah. which was something I was not expecting. But then yeah. there's also that little nuance where Mrs. Goswami looks out and uh, looks at him bashing mm -hmm. the car, and so you just know that the message has not been conveyed. Yeah. So yeah, now that, that just. I don't... I, these, I think, uh, these little things are the ones yes. that got me really hooked into the story. I think yeah. the writing was fantastic for me. Is yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest binding factor, the social economic class and everything, was basically the cinema itself, right? Where yes. you could have everyone from every class sitting together and watching something about exactly. the whole mm -hmm. about, about border. border which is, which is the most uh, <laughs> yes. patriotic film. Uh, yes. I mean, whatever. You can say a place about, of uh, borders. I mean, it's supposed to be about whatever. Yeah, and border, like it is the border oh rivers. This is the brilliant. film studies guy thinking. <laughs> no, no, but it is but true. Brilliant. I was, I was just thinking that what a brilliant reverse engineered way of looking down, looking back at the social hierarchy yeah, yeah. of people experiencing and going in the theater and watching mm -hmm. film. What a great way of reverse engineering that to show how. Even when it when we talk about victims, even that has a heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. even I it's impossible for me to sit over here and get into every immaculate technical aspect of the show. So I'll just talk about very briefly, I hope. I'll just talk about the endings for episode three, four, and five to mm -hmm. make my point about how it's not this show doesn't just steer away from. Uh, creating a spectacle out of a tragedy and milking out that sympathetic aspect of yeah. it. But it is quite antithetical to those kinds of shows and those, that mm -hmm. approach to storytelling in general. Because mm -hmm. episodes 3, 4, and 5. Let's talk about the ending of episode 3. The no, one no, that, uh, no, 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 that's 4, I guess. No, no, no. no. That's, three. that's 3. Fourth is Upahar, I think. Fourth, okay, is, a, fourth is the one with Shardul Bhardwaj. Third is the one with Ashish Vidyarthi. Yeah. Fifth is so the one with... Yeah, so let's yes. talk about the ending for the episode with Ashish uh, Vidyarthi, right? Hmm. So in that, with that ending, you're not just seeing him go and apologize to this group of... The, the, this family that he's yes. tortured and, you know, blackmailed. Yeah. But you're also, in two, within two, five minutes, you're seeing how different classes of people are perceiving someone who has that power. Okay. Mm. So I think by placing, by juxtaposing those three scenarios like that, yep. the one, mm -hmm. the scene that takes place in the balcony, in the house, and the one that takes place outside, just outside the house on the road, by juxtaposing mm -hmm. those three scenes, the show constantly deflects the power dynamics because mm -hmm. the, her character, when, when he comes at their place through the balcony, they literally throw him out. Okay. They lock him outside and you see that through the mirror. And yeah. then he goes outside and he knows we as we are already ahead of the, of those other two characters. Okay. So we already mm -hmm. know that he was coming out of a place of genuine empathy and purity that he wanted to apologize. Right. Yeah. But now they are that, the other character, the wife, okay, yeah. the Goswamis, are looking at him through the same window, yes. abuse this other guy and beat him to crap, beat him to yeah. shit, okay? Yeah. So you are seeing those different power dynamics play within the same scene yeah. through three different scenarios. Hmm. Now, the ending of episode, the, the one with Memorial, okay? Uh, that's this the only. The one where Shardur Bhatt, oh, that's Ajani, Okay, episode. that's the actual Memorial. Okay, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. Sorry. So, I, that was the first point in the show where I genuinely had a breakdown. I genuinely cried because the moment where he goes, first it's set up right in the first episode, right? Or second episode. Yeah. Right? First episode. Second episode. First mm -hmm. episode, right? That the locket, the, the yes. locket that the girl was wearing, the chain. Yes. That yes. has been missing, okay? That mm -hmm. what happened with that? Ki mm -hmm. Precautions or what's the case with this? Yes. So it's set up, it's already set up in the first episode. Mm -hmm. And what a great way to end that episode by showing how Shardul Bhardwa's char character comes and drops it during that memorial scene. Yeah. And mm -hmm. 
talking about nuances we already talked about how the show subtly tweaks these very basic general storytelling cues mm-hmm. and beats right mm-hmm. but talking about subtlety and nuance abhay deol's character looks at him from afar and he just looks we we are even as a, as the audience as a viewer we are not sure whether he's noticed or not but mm. there's this very subtle scene where we are looking at him from afar and mm. he's just looking in the frame at shandul bagwa's character and mm. he's just like he closes his eye and then he again looks back he cuts away his mm. and the ending i mean <laughs> i was just and my personal favorite i think it's my I'm sorry, I've been going on for too long, but no, no, it's it's just, I'm just trying to make this point of how the show masters nuance of how mm. it plays around these nuance beats to set up these emotional beats so well, right? Mm-hmm. The end of episode five. What a great way to end that episode, mm. where okay. you already Ratna Pata can welcome you, where you yeah. get their character arcs, right? So you're introduced to this new couple out of nowhere in the middle of mm-hmm. the story. Yes, yeah. and very certainly it's said that these, even if these are two people in their middle age, they also have unfulfilled aspirations. Mm. They want they mm-hmm. wanted to do more with their lives, but but out of frustration they blame each other. Okay, yeah. and they mm-hmm. have this breakdown. and after that they introspect they contemplate about it and finally decide that it's okay let's move on let's just go watch a movie yeah and the ending of that episode where the house worker literally comes and closes, closes the, the door, door. with them yeah. yes yeah, yeah, yeah by foreshadowing what yeah. happened eventually sadly yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's not just it's not mm-hmm. just played for again it's not just played for gimmicks and this also yeah. Yeah, and yeah. the same applies for episode 6 the long long takes and all but it's not just playing it for gimmicks but there's mm-hmm. a deep subtext to every story beat that the show hits mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's also a foreshadowing of what would eventually happen when they go as the last movie of their lives yeah. together but it's also about how these two people how this couple has these unfulfilled ambitions that will never get fulfilled now i mean it's so a good door, door is literally closing on them right yeah that's yeah. true no no but i mean mm-hmm. i feel one of the sort of great things about that episode or maybe the one that at least hit me on how it was using the past exploring a different mm-hmm. ca- character to echo something to completely different oh, sets of people so in the so present so. who are also fighting a case who also have their different mm. ways of coping who have different arguments with each other simultaneously mm. in that episode and sort of you know how they yeah. sort of echo each oh, other yeah. in a way which isn't exactly which exactly. isn't but abhay abhay there is old friend visits and old friend comes and visits yeah. him and yeah. then yeah. and then anupam kher is visiting the squash or badminton court with his oh, squash court with see. his friend I mean, I also yeah. thought it was great casting of Anupam Kher as a guy who it's wants amazing, to be a nationalist yeah. hero. And it has, <laughs> but there's also <laughs> it's so it's so poignantly played by right, that part yeah. because when he lashes out at those kids, it's out yeah. of this frustration that this is the one thing that I'm doing. There's already yeah. this one great thing that I couldn't do Could have done. to yeah. fulfill my honor. and mm-hmm. don't rob me of this opportunity as well and in the very next scene it's all played off camera where he's yeah. defeated by those kids yes. so again there's that frustration and thing it's it's yeah. and then it intercuts into <laughs> how they lose that game i, I have exactly, a really yeah. i have a really really bad joke here like it's it's bad <laughs> oh, it's I, like, i have so many I, prepared I, also <laughs> <laughs> even i have one as well it's trying to not interrupt adyan so no, the thing no, is I, yeah. i watched that i watched that i watched that scene and i was like oh so all these uh, Uh, all these old people in the metro who beat up youngsters do you think you have they have these frustrations should you also look at their points of view when they beat up young people that's my thoughts <laughs> so really yeah no, no I, i think it's uh, i don't know that episode really uh, maybe that's the one that was least Uh, pushing the connections in my opinion at least it didn't feel like it was making an active effort of uh connecting the past and the present story lines i think in the in the previous one more... there was an issue i think also mm-hmm. the shardul bhardwaj mm-hmm. 
Oh, yeah. uh, Shardul Bhardwaj character is receiving a hoax from someone in his episode mm-hmm. and it's being echoed in the next one with another hoax that's happening. So I think mm-hmm. I just to sort of dovetail a little bit into one of the small criticisms also uh, that comes along with this is amidst all this that's happening, the present day storyline also has a case to get through. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. in that case, and I think it's especially episode four, which really irked me about this thing. There's this narrative where the lawyer also has a character transformation from being this uncaring lawyer who doesn't mm. like think the case is serious to being super serious about it, to being super like, you know, yeah. and this happens in a matter of half a scene where yeah, she yeah, throws yeah. like yeah, yeah, so... CBI and all that. Yes, Coke yes. I, I thought that yeah. was a little like you know. Though, I mean, it's I I understand it's you can't perfect everything, but those are things that did stand out because other stuff was working so well. Yeah. Uh. So that was kind of a dovetail into Sanjeev. You were saying something. I know you've been planning. No, to, no, no. Oh, I thought. Never mind. I thought. I thought. No, I knew no. when you were planning to say something. We had like metaphysical connection, but never mind. Oh my. God. No, no. I was like uh, the fifth episode. Like how you were telling wasn't more. Oh my god. Like. Okay. <laughs> so, throw around the word metaphysical, like. Fine. Okay. I mean, but the show is yeah. also doing that, Flexing, sort of huh? echoing of one thing into the other, past, present. Literature and all students that. don't take it so well when you just oh. throw around the word metaphysical. Fine. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> echoing then that is going to be repeated again and again. <laughs> yes. No. no what I was trying to say was like how you were talking about them not pushing the more timeline versus with in 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 the episode five. I yes. think it was more about like the paralleling of the two yes. couples in a way yeah, and how yeah, exactly. at what stage of life they were yes. at and what the it's basic context. The relationships, yeah. Is it that episode in which also involves the birthday cake? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's episode yes. three. Or that's episode three. three. I think. Yeah, it comes three earlier. I think, yeah. The birthday yeah. cake was I love that. particularly oh. great. Uh, the, in, the way they both sort of the... maneuver through yeah. it and try to avoid each other. Uh, this is yeah. the central couple who actually we've not talked yeah. about much <laughs> till now, <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. but yes, uh, the way they they sort of play around in that one space, trying to hide mm-hmm. from each other what they're feeling, I thought was really. I also mm-hmm. really liked the like also really liked the little silence that they fall into every yeah. time people talk mm-hmm. about their kids yeah. around. Yes, them. there's a lot of that. Yeah. Yes. It's not- and I figured, I figured as I or maybe I just read too much into it as I progressed to the. Sh- through the show sorry I realized that it was less about uh, how you know how they are sad it's a little more about how they have nothing to contribute to this conversation Mm -hmm. which really struck out like uh, Mm -hmm. when they were talking about the whole marriage thing in yes. that in, in one of those six, scenes, sixth yeah. episode and, six, is, yeah, sixth, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. there was always there was of course the marriage connotation with the other part of the whole yes. show that so, we were, yes. like, episode that we were seeing yeah but mm. um, that one particular thing like how they just fall into that silence because they have nothing to contribute mm. of mm. their own this is not yes. a conversation that they can carry on but they've also reached that stage now where you know, couples around them do not really talk about other things. It's, yes. it, this mm-hmm. is the conversation that is going to come up, which is mm-hmm. why maybe Abhay Deval's company of choice of company, sorry, is mm-hmm. um, is so different because mm-hmm. that of a is who where is not, is not yes, years not, not, has not a married, failed marriage not married, or something. Right? Uh, I think yeah, failed right. marriage and has mm-hmm. is is like is into drinking and partying and talking about yes, fun yes. stories, which doesn't yeah. involve kids at all. So yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that. You know, again, I want to reinforce my already made point even more about yes, how go ahead, it's fine. Yeah, that's, 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 so well. We repeat a lot. Don't worry, Arun. <laughs> so I it just it, I mean maybe it would have been obvious to everyone, but it just particularly came very strikingly. It stood out to me because. Mm. Even during that entire character arc where he's meeting that old friend of his uh, yeah. who's visiting from US who apparently mm-hmm. got fired or whatever, left his job over a party scene or whatever. Yes. <laughs> so the entire character arc, it plays through two callbacks in his own psyche, through mm-hmm. two visual cues that mm-hmm. we as viewers already might have a vague memory of from the first episode. Mm. So at one point, 
it's a the the first one is actually a very visually reinforcing uh cue where they're just sitting at the back of the car drinking okay mm. and he mm-hmm. sees this uh, new project the finally completed big mm. mall that yes. the Ansel Ansel's. brothers yeah that the uh that the Ansel brothers have finally completed and it's just mm-hmm. there right it's, mm-hmm. it's there you just it's lying out there on the road at the side of the road so he just there's a very it's a very subtle moment where he just looks at it and and just stops drinking and then yeah. the scene mm-hmm. cuts away and at the very end where they finally go and sit in the cinema theater. hall right in the yeah. cinema yeah. hall yeah 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 mm-hmm. and he stops multiplexes and everything yeah. so that in it's a, again another thing that the show does really well is that it it makes a very uh, peculiar point about showing the technological shift yes, yes. Years, okay yeah, yeah yeah so you see this couple use different technology get mm-hmm. used to new newer and newer technologies mm-hmm. over the years and yet they are still there in the grieving process mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that dichotomy is already there playing out in the background mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. but where where the family goes in the cinema that's the point where he is like This I was is, this, so I'm this is maybe like, like a I'm I'm diffusing your seriousness a serious point mm-hmm. here by saying that maybe I was wondering could you be able to this is actually not a joke even but like could I would be mm-hmm. I would love to know if if the parents could ever take going to the cinema ever seriously again or could they actually not know, just seriously but want to go ever like in, in, in yeah, a yeah, way yeah. which is not connected at all or like not know, I mean of course yeah. you can bypass your but it's very hard i would assume yeah. right and i think there's and a really that's... touching moment uh, or a touching remark made mm-hmm. when, and this is another one of the good things about the show is it does allow downtime or gives things in downtime for people to do is there's mm-hmm. one of the uh, avot meetings or avot meetings which is the association mm-hmm. of the okhar uh, mm-hmm. cinema tragedy which happens in the second episode they okay. they're talking and they're talk because no one or not everyone has arrived in the meeting I remember mm-hmm. they start talking about Sunday से आते हैं and how everyone yeah, yeah. every every radio is already that. always talking and, about that yeah, song always yeah. talking and they are just so annoyed that the fact that yeah. you know, mm-hmm. this movie the song everything sort of keeps on repeating again and again yeah. and again what is lost and mm-hmm. what can't be and what is not being uh, given sort of justice till now at least yeah. and mm-hmm. I mean till even I feel. By the end, also mm. I don't think that closure is never completely there, at mm. least from never, whatever I've heard. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why uh, the fourth wall breaking, right? Guys, just a moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please cut this out. Yes. I just realized that all throughout this time I was thinking of border as gadar. Ab bolo, Hindustan, Murdabad. Asha wale, Asha wale, Asha wale, Asha wale, Asha wale. ये सियासी खेल क्यों खेल रहे हैं आप? आपका पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद है इसे हमें कोई इतराज नहीं लेकिन हमारा हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद था जिंदाबाद है और जिंदाबाद रहेगा हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद बकवास बंद कर Just like wait in my head, I know this is a different film. And I thought I like, oh, downloaded the wrong. Sunny Deol and Bobby yeah, Deol. It's not that different in terms of their whatever nationality. Hyper. I don't know. Hyper- I, don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You. Yeah. He's a very very ashamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept thinking throughout this time that this is Gadar. Okay, and for a moment I also had that conversation with someone where I was like, but oh, that film came out so early. I thought it came out after the war. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I only remember Sunday Se Aate Hain because I saw. I told you, I saw. I've seen Border late, late in. I saw oh, Border in my yeah. cinema class. Sadly, and I thought, thought it was That's terrible. Sadly, so, mentioned Sunday Se Aate Hain. I have. I had already started analyzing the lyrics. He does this in any way it it is, is, relate with the cinema goers. It does. It right does. then, I was like, wait, this is a different movie. Is this the real yeah. movie then? What you, movie are we talking I, about? I was naturally thinking about that also. Sunday se aate hain ka if you co- put put that context into this show and not apply it to the officers, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a whole different being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it still works in that sense. Yeah, yeah, it very much works. Which I'm surprised they didn't use it more actually. To be very honest. No, but I didn't realize this was the film. Otherwise, she would have. 
Do you think people would have objected like JP Dutta and others would have been like I guess I I think the film that they showed in the last episode was also not something else uh, right? not yeah, border look like it was border, something yeah. else look better because I've seen border like yeah. a lot of uh, times so, that was that's what I was thinking that he uh, better oh, lagri ha better lagri better lagri have some shame bro. I have some I have a very sunny deal performance okay anyway moving on <laughs> So who we want to wear i am so lost where no, are no, we no aryan was still talking acha <laughs> no, no, sorry really yeah. sorry <laughs> so that's i mean that's not getting cut out though so <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. that was that was like a mid mid recording epiphany that i had <laughs> <laughs> one more Fair. epiphany that border had yes yeah oh god please don't <laughs> go ahead <laughs> you were saying oh, earlier that that sorry yeah. yeah so i was saying that that scene in the theater where uh, abhideval and his friend finally go at a multiplex and that's the end of their personal little character arc right mm-hmm. in that episode yeah so mm-hmm. even that is played so well with two visual cues i would like to touch upon mm. the first mm-hmm. one is that and this directly connects with our, a great point that you touched on to through about mm. this open ended question that what about the parents would they ever be able to go would mm. would they have been ever been able to experience a movie in a theater without having those trigger points without mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. thinking about mm-hmm. that tragic event right so he sitting there and there's this one scene where you actually get to watch the screen from his perspective mm. and there's a smoking commotion and there's a lot of yeah. smoke so you mm. see the screen filled with smoke and that's where yeah 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 stands up okay and he leaves mm-hmm. and his friend mm-hmm. is sitting there drunk not giving oh, a yeah, damn about no, it okay yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then the last scene mm-hmm. okay he goes out he's standing is standing right outside the theater niche mm-hmm. and it's a direct parallel to the to that one scene in the first episode where we mm-hmm. finally cut to the upahar day mm-hmm. after the opening credits roll where mm-hmm. he's looking at the top of the theater and there's this blast mm. and the fire thing the, the reflection of the fire is reflected on his glass no, no. okay so you mm. you get a similar shot over there where mm. maybe perhaps a light or something is this falling on on his on his uh, glasses and you mm. see that reflection and he's mm-hmm. just startled by it. Mm. he's like it's it's literally borderline ptsd right borderline so, mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so i mean i'm assuming that <laughs> so no So what border came in right there? I thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't intended for. So yes. he's just startled by, it. and then yeah. it's that point where he just leaves and he goes back yeah. home. And yeah. that's mm-hmm. the only point in that episode where the couple finally sits and has a one-to-one conversation, and they're back this, at the screening. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I'll let you guys also go through, but I, this this thing with the show, I think, is and one of the good things is that. one thing that aryan is saying or one thing i think even indrila and sandeep say mm-hmm. it sort of triggers another event which is similarly linked or at least and i feel a lot of things that mm-hmm. like i feel there's so many times a couple go through that uh, same mm-hmm. almost ordeal of like you know they they have very different ways of uh, communicating what they are feeling i feel like one of them mm-hmm. i think this is it's very verbally in the first yeah. one, first episode only it's established that one of them yeah. has a very different way of approaching the strategy than the other one and i think mm-hmm. second episode keeps on sort of going developing that because he's looking for people mm-hmm. and she's looking mm-hmm. for answers directly like mm-hmm. like she has the ally in the form of shilpa shukla's character who again fa- mm, yeah. this is a th- and this now again slight criticism but get back to the positive a lot of people vanish in the show and never come back which is fine mm-hmm. but i feel in the case of some characters it's a problem and this also leads to the second you know ahindra was saying how the story lawyer, of, right? no no even no but like the kishan pal character whose story is mm-hmm. incredible he's barely there up after second mm-hmm. episode and i kind of felt i know it's not his story but i did feel some of them just went too much into the background uh mm-hmm. but that's 
uh, side sort of point to it. But... I guess then every episode becomes about a perspective and a point of view, which is why I guess if so. a character. Yes. That's why it's, of... it's named accordingly, right? It's stuff. Yeah, yeah because I I by... think the the part where uh, their friend uh, sh- what what was her name? Shilpi Agarwal or something. Shilpa like Shukla is the. Is no, no, the but what was the character's name? name? Something. Yeah, yeah. Shalini. No, it was Shalini, not Shalini Agarwal. She goes disappear. I mean, she disappears, and then because I think that's what the couple comes her, as yeah, to yeah. as a her thing, like, her thinking thing like isn't it doesn't the, make sense to. I mean, she cannot confide the, in her anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Her thing isn't the vanishing that is the problem. I think it's more to do with the people who are barely in it, but then then sort of. I mean, the biggest problem is this in the seventh episode, I think, which introduces a character, which introduces a couple character for literally five minutes. So, so, and, and, and it feels I, very, I kind of... very tokenist in my opinion, or tokenist. Exactly. In my, I, I was like, that, yes, I felt that too. It was also when it connected... dramatic for no reason whatsoever. I mean, I was like, I understand where this is coming from, and I, yes. I get the whole point of view. But if you, if you did not suddenly have to bring out a queer perspective, also, it yes, would have exactly. been fine. They did it very subtly, which is nice without putting it out there, out yes. there. So yeah. they are connecting it with the fact that people were actually jumping out of the yeah. of the, the roads and the fence, yeah. which was fantastic, which was hmm. great. It but also added to the geography aspect yes. of that day, better, uh-huh. right? Because mm-hmm. you had never seen that perspective, so yeah. Go. Right, so that was all good, but it was it was a token representation. I mean, it is. Uh, San- for no I think, good reason. Yeah, and I think Sanjeev is getting to how it's sort of alluded, right, with the with the lady and the with father, the, the, who the father, father is kind of that. saying that my son used to be not feminine, like in his quote yeah. unquote feminine way. In, in the earlier like, episode, yeah. also there's one time, but in the second one, I think when uh, Shekhar is going yeah. to meet. A lot of Meet people and other, he's other the, people they, are, and... they are the goyals. Mm-hmm. So I think I recognized because my surname, but whatever. Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> sorry, but that's that, that's how you remember sometimes. Uh, no, it's okay. The reason why I remember <laughs> the, the those people who got beaten up as the Goswami, Goswami is because yes. that's what's okay. <laughs> exactly. uh, you remember all that and not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame people for not remembering border, but okay. okay yeah. Why? What is this? I mean, it is memorably bad. That's true. So, yeah. No, it's not memorably bad. <laughs> I mean, now Anyways. I have a different impression of the film, anyways. My dad's takeaway is like, and he loved episodes uh, five and six, especially. Right. Yeah. And then uh-huh. seventh episode, ke baad to, same movie tha, par border dekhte kabhi. <laughs> But let's should we that you nicely have give me a segue, but should we go to episode six? Because I want I am yeah, desperate yeah, yeah. to yeah. hear why it works for so many because it didn't entirely work for me. So I want mm-hmm. to go kind for of, it. Start. Yes. One, two, three, what <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm asking for from Ahindrala and Aryan because they are the biggest fans of the episode, I feel. Yeah. I'm not, but okay. <laughs> okay. Split it then between you two. <laughs> Who's convinced? Yeah. 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 So I really liked it. I that's mm. I, I said it in the beginning itself. I told it in the beginning itself. Mm. I really liked it. Mm. Like I was I was a huge fan of how the story went about and the fact mm. that they did not empathize with the mm. and these are not so called villains also. Like yeah, yeah. once True. you actually look into the whole aspect of it, you realize that the answers are untouchable. And mm-hmm. were untouchable. I mean, the whole people case. stuck so were... in the situation, something yeah, like yeah. that. Too. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, to call it like to call that episode villains is also a little bit of a bracket question mark. Yes, <laughs> because yeah. that's it. Like, mm-hmm. are these really villains? Is the thing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's one. Mm-hmm. And two is, um, I really liked how the how the time gap, time shift, time. What is it called? Aryan mentioned that word. The so uh, yep. that. Yeah, so that happens because that is something I've never seen is all, mm-hmm. which is why I was quite fascinated by it. But apart mm-hmm. from that, just the fact that everybody is somehow, uh, you know, a part of the system. Mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. that entire, the uh, the when Abhay Deol's character goes to the DVPC's office and for the mm-hmm. further entire registrar ka thing and everything and how he then come, comes back and complains about the fact mm-hmm. that he's becoming a part of the system is mm-hmm. what it actually ends up showing you that it's all a system. It's everybody is part of the system. They're playing yeah. a role in it, and sometimes it's corrupt more mm-hmm. than most of the mm-hmm. times. 
उट and mm-hmm. there are basically no cuts in uh, i mean i think only there is cuts it's mm-hmm. a different timeline i think right mm-hmm. yeah um, but i think what dhruv is talking about is the showiness of the camera work because until that that point the camera work is slightly in a different visual language operating in a very different visual language right mm-hmm. um what i came up to a conclusion was i think one which was i think the compression compression of time they mm-hmm. wanted to compress the whole world of that character veer singh and his family exactly yeah into a very small capsule showing okay mm-hmm. one, one kitchen three room something like that or two rooms mm-hmm. so i liked how i mean the socio economic uh, topic again comes into you know conversation there but i think mm-hmm. the whole point was you've seen this world somewhere else we we'll mm-hmm. sh- we'll show you the world but let's do it a li- little quicker mm-hmm. because i mean their tragedy isn't of about something um i mean it is of significance to them mm-hmm. but then it isn't like they didn't lose someone i think that was probably could have been mm-hmm. one of the reasons mm-hmm. and second being i think that's how a lot of tv show tropes which i was telling you about right, right they need to do something a little different i was about to ask mm-hmm. that only that is i think that mm-hmm. was my big big problem it's not a problem but i just felt because these are the first this, i noticed the technique basically is my big problem and yeah. that distracted me to the point that i thought it took away from the characters but mm-hmm. of course that's i don't want to say that it's a genuine general problem but i do i do think it's a, a recurring thing in lots of shows now and i feel a lot of times i'm like mm-hmm. i didn't understand the perspective of why this was the decision made so i i felt a little so at a remote. i the only re- one of the reasons why it mostly worked very well from even the sixth episode Is that I didn't steal when a case against that point that Drew made I guess because for me it goes back to the same thing of not just playing into those tropes of using those gimmicks but also rooting it in a very deep subtext because mm-hmm. it's not just played for gimmicks to compress a it's not just played for that aspect to compress mm-hmm. a seven eight years of uh, timeline into this one episode mm-hmm. into this one singular take. but it also reinforces this point because this show doesn't have fully formed character arcs to follow mm. it uses the same technique the same gimmick to make you feel how for them time has been the same yeah so there's yeah. this and that point is proven through this once it's it's a very brief a minute it's a one minute scene in the entire episode where mm-hmm. you cut back after going back ahead in time 18 years ka jump leke you go back 7 years back mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where the wife character is uh, standing in the kitchen and he's been taken to the jail for the second time mm. this time yeah. his son accompanies him to the uh, station or whatever tihar jail mm-hmm. and yeah. it's in that moment where he is taken to the jail for the second time after 7 years where you go back in time and there's a time jump 7 years back which reinforces this point that even those 8 years have passed for mm-hmm. them because they are the victims even even if they are seen as villains from the uh, who's the main protagonist or what's the Rajesh Dhawan Shekhar and Neelam no it's a Shekhar from the Krishna Murthy from the Krishna Murthy's yeah. perspective even though they are the villains they are actually the victims because you see that uh-huh. that time for them it's been a very claustrophobic setting for them because mm-hmm. they their life is just been around these four walls and there's this one shot where uh, the first time where he's ever taken to the jail we get this long take of the wife his wife just standing outside and she's just looking at him go while you watch her through mm-hmm. the window so mm-hmm. she's yeah. already in a prison but then she doesn't get to get out of that she's always mm-hmm. in the house 
so you see those time jumps those three, eight years cut 18 years no, jump but, cuts through the house no, even everything in the house stays the same no no but there's also this extremely fine scene which i think is the fact that he doesn't get a job after he's out of the jail mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah, then yeah. the wife has to go for work well, which is work, which is yeah. a massive thing in a household like that exactly that yeah. the mm-hmm. that the husband is not working at all and it's the wife who has to leave for work and mm-hmm. of course like because because i'm talking sorry so there's always this uh, little t- nuance like little uh, i don't know some sort of chink in the patriarchal uh mm-hmm. glaze that we see ki she is still cooking breakfast exactly. and chai yeah. and yeah, all chai of that and, and then yeah. leaving for her duty right so you still have a little bit of portrayal of that so not maybe not everything remains the same for the wife which is why that there's a uh, small a few fraction of a seconds of breakdown that the wife undergoes exactly while cooking which was during fantastic. her daughter's wedding right yeah so this you see fantastic. her she is like putting on this facade of being this very caring she is doing her duty in a patriarchal mm-hmm. household of being this yeah. very generous uh, mother to this daughter who will soon be wed off and mm-hmm. she is a uh, been very she is being very welcoming to these guests okay mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you you go her enter the kitchen and you don't get to see her for a while she is just cooking doing her doing her regular course and then she just stops Mm-hmm. she just freezes and then the camera slowly cuts to her sobbing it's that moment is it's chilling mm-hmm. and for me this is how i interpreted the title of the show i mean it's called villains right but in the entire episode the maker steel man the case for you that it's not these people who are the villains it's the unsu <laughs> um, no it's not them uh, again who's the abhay devlan Uh, Krishna Krishna Murthy. Krishna it's the Krishna Murthy's who are the villains because you see them watch them, their yeah. interviews on TV and they are the yeah. ones who are like ये लोग को और क्या चाहिए अरे that's that reminds me the, sorry I just got one of those epiphanies I guess uh yeah. me, but the, that uh, the there's a moment in that episode or one sometime before mm-hmm. it where the son-in-law of this family berates neelam for giving a lot of interviews and i'm pretty yeah, sure this it's happens it's the same episode yeah, it's the same, the same episode. Episode. that's okay. why i'm saying for no the berating the, happens in an earlier before episode. yeah it's not the same like in an unconnected event no i think it's in the same episode. i don't no, think so because no, at no, that no, time no. we are given an information about veer singh but we don't know who veer singh is at that yes time. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's like, like twice it like happened kind throughout of like, the yeah, earlier episodes. Yeah. It's a setup, so basically, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. they are at the court. He, someone comes and like shouts at her, and yeah. she's like yeah. taken yeah. aback, yeah. and then the lawyer, the caller, is basically like. No so for me, yeah. when the episode starts, you again think you are you're again in this headspace that oh, so this episode is only going to be about the villains and how even the villains have this humanizing side. But no, I I thought I just thought of it as. showing that the krishnamurthis are the villains from their perspective from the, so okay. that's from the gray the, line like that's yeah. how i i think i need really not to rewatch it yeah. like i mean i mean mm-hmm. because i i genuinely didn't think of whatever i was too taken by the showiness of the technique i was like mm-hmm. i wanted to know more about the like as i was saying about the breakdown the the character yeah, yeah. her character has i was like i thought her performance was incredible but i thought the the camera itself took so much from my mm. sort of attention that i i couldn't like get into it mm. into the performance or something the, else about the passing of the time in that particular episode is how the behavior of the daughter changes mm. like mm. from pre wedding to then post wedding mm-hmm. the fact mm-hmm. yeah so you you see that and you kind of also witness you are also witness because the camera is placed behind the mother yes. you kind mm-hmm. of also see that the yeah. uh, whatever conversation is happening right in front of her in the in the opposite house thing so there's mm-hmm. also that mm-hmm. that there's also a neighbor perspective thing yes, is yes. changing mm-hmm. constantly yeah. which uh, and binds into the entire uh, pa- passage of time bit so that again i think different. it's the, it's the same thing i i think it's again the power dynamics aspect itself because you see some money related hustle mm. going on in the opposite house yeah. and you're seeing her through her perspective mm-hmm. right through the kitchen window yeah. and i love how the window in itself becomes a really recurring motif to reinforce how that in itself has become like a uh, a stagnant jail for these for this mm-hmm. family 
<laughs> no, no, I was trying to kind of justify the whole camera work also, which yes. I was saying, if, you, if, I, if I wanted to justify it, I would call the camera work more like slithering, which I also... Yeah, you so we think snake-like, about. right? Because I kind of visualize snake as the villain, so I thought the situation... Hmm. Interesting. ...was the villain, yeah, until like that. RN gave me... A, until RN gave me a better perspective. No, <laughs> no, I mean, it's so, a... Like, like, I better I mean, perspective. It's like... Different perspectives. So, I mean, I kind of related. So, so I think whatever you guys are saying about the whole villainizing aspect and everything, I think there's a scene in the first episode that happens that had like a bigger sort of impact for me just in in a in a fraction of a second. Maybe it's it's just mm. maybe the way sort of one responds to different ways in which people convey this. I think that it's when the theater manager gets uh, Neelam goes to the theater manager's family. And she's like, mm-hmm, uh, yes. she's like, uh, where is he? Where is he? And I think the wife is basically like, it's the first he's episode. Not here. Yeah. yeah, this is the first episode. And mm-hmm. and then of course there's, as Ahindra has already pointed out, children come into the frame, yeah. her children come into the frame and basically Shekhar and Neelam both sort of freeze there. Because that's the yeah. first moment, that's not the point where they've gone, reached the conclusion of not saying anything. I think it's the point that mm-hmm. they still, whenever they see children, uh, they go there, so right? So I yeah. think uh, it's so that one was and and I think even in, it, just as soon as that scene ends, the the theater manager's wife is basically like, "वो कुछ नहीं करते अगर उनको कुछ जो नहीं बोला जाता हाँ जो उनको नहीं बोला जाता वो कुछ नहीं करते something like that like basically mm-hmm. they don't do anything but whatever that is not told to them so I think that yeah. That is a recurring thing I feel throughout the show. Like everyone sort of caught up it in is, the call. It is. Like it's a, it's mm-hmm. not a, it's a, not a unique perspective. There are lots, lots of shows are about this. It's just the way the show conveys that it feel, makes you feel the burden of it. I think that's the big, mm-hmm. the big thing. I think. Um, Sanjeet, mm-hmm. you were saying something again. I've cut you off. No, no, no. I was agreeing with you. <laughs> Achha, okay. <laughs> Anyways, episode seven, Aryan, you had a problem. Episode seven. Yeah. So it's the same thing that. Uh... The same problem that you actually touched on to that. I mean, introducing new characters when you're finally getting to the big tragedy of at the center of your show. I don't think it helps. And even from a technical point of view, you had these unique voices. You had a change in the visual grammar of the show in episode six and seven, right? With the long takes and with the unconventional uh, way mm-hmm. of introducing these two characters with on the one and Ratna Badal. And then the seventh episode, which was supposed to be like the standout, right? There's some very jarring edits during the actual Upahar tragedy. So mm-hmm. the first one that immediately comes to mind is the way Anupam K's character is uh, killed off. Yeah. So that was very, very jarring for me. Very melodramatic. And to be very honest, as I said earlier, episodes uh, five, I think it is one of my favorite Indian. It is one of my favorite episodes in an Indian web show. But I think by introducing and by showing so much of the same couple in episode in the last episode, by showing mm-hmm. too much of Ratna Padak and Anubhav Kher, it just takes away from that poignantly shaping moment at the end of the last shot of episode five, basically okay. <clears throat> the one that I talked about. So it just takes away from that suspense Understood. aspect of it. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's not even them. suspense, right? It's like already you know what is going to happen. But it's like, already it's the like, story yeah. is already tight, right? It's already yeah. closed off. The, the doors have been closed on them already. So just show them maybe. Just acknowledge their presence. But why to go into the entire, like, I don't yes, know. I mean, that. it that kind just... of actually, I honestly thought with the closing of the doors in episode 5 that both mm. of them actually got killed in that particular yes. incident and mm-hmm. then then you realize that exactly. that's not how the case is which was, it just I was takes... like, okay, so then it, yeah it mm-hmm. doesn't Understood. it takes away that moment because when of... you mm-hmm. exactly yeah. that that cathartic moment that sigh that you had at the end of that 
beautiful episode it just takes away from that thrill and yeah, I, especially I prefer not knowing the truth is exactly hadn't it here. been yeah. this mm-hmm. promising and technically excellent show throughout i wouldn't be expecting so much out of it right but because it had that mm-hmm. momentum already it just comes to a close i think Got it. Uh, so I, I will I will not defend it because see, I, I but one of the favorite decisions I think this my that, that it took was to bypass showing the incident in the beginning right and I think this is mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. feel the way I sort of justified why they even showed what happened in seventh season was because it begins with her basically berating the media about Neelam berating the mm-hmm. media in the present day saying that you know what do you exactly. think? What do you expect from a country in which you can't get justice after whatever, 18 years? And this is the sort of verdict they give you. And I feel the show mm. is consistently uh, going forward in time, but staying back in the past, right? Exactly. Uh, that's yeah. what happens from episode four onwards, especially. Like it's it's paralleling timelines <clears throat> in the present and the past. And I feel in the mm. seventh episode, once the verdict is made against them, I feel the show has to just go to the past because there is no sort of moving on mm-hmm. this is my high brow yeah. of thinking how it sort mm-hmm. of structures itself i'm not sure if it's intentional but i thought it struck a chord to me at least in that way that mm-hmm. it has to address the address that and then move on because in reality the case still was so like is open like in a way it's not yeah. completely they didn't get full justice as to what they were hoping for which is why the last yeah. shot of this scene makes so much sense and is powerful because it feels like it's... But correct me if I'm wrong. I don't exactly know. Is there an expectation laid out by either of the characters in the course of the show? Like in any of the dialogues? Ki, uh, what exactly are they expecting at the end of this particular case? I think it was the... There's one scene where there's this discussion, right? If you want to change the charges to... Um... Involuntary the, manslaughter. No, no, no. The tampering of tampering, tampering, or, of tampering of evidence. Or do you want to stick to the original claim of negligence? I think negligence is the big one. Yeah. The negligence yeah. in which, because of which uh, the tragedy occurred and whatever their greed and all that. And I think it's a part, part of it is, I think, I mean, Dancil's never said sorry. I think that's, that's the one of the bigger, not the bigger, but like that's the one of the smaller, mm. bigger things. Like if you do that, uh, like it at least shows a sense of humanity that you can have as a person. But then of course the bigger context, I think, is the fact that the justice, justice doesn't mean like sort of only monetary. It means to genuinely Mm -hmm. be punished by the law for doing something. Mm -hmm. And I I don't Mm -hmm. think that's, I think that's what they want. But I I will, that's a good point you bring because I think sometimes the particularities of the case sometimes start to get a little lost also uh, mm-hmm. yes, yes which is which is what i had a little bit of not of not so much of a problem with per se i think i just am in company of people who can point me out to this mm. the legal aspect of it better but mm. also the thing that uh, you know when you are showing us a case like in a courtroom and something i don't think the expectations are really aligned the way it begins is mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. like while there are so many aspects yes. of of the of the drama that's going mm-hmm. on there's little about the uh, the and the, the way the whole uh, court proceedings take place is what i try to mean here yes. mm-hmm. that we mm-hmm. do not exactly get an idea of and i do not mm-hmm. think the mm-hmm. end credits do justice to it justice okay. mm-hmm. to it is all Got it. yeah Understood. Mm-hmm. No, I, I understand what I, think, I, I, I was I expecting think in that... one or two more courtroom scenes, like in general. There's mm-hmm. one scene basically we get, one big scene. No, but I think I think it's plenty to make the point because you get these two very important points that the show is trying to make. Is first that irrespective of your legal system or the state of your legal system in your country. The good work is always going to be acknowledged and it is going to be seen out there and acknowledged. Where at a point the judge, the new judge, calls her to the uh, Mm -hmm. bench. Okay, so she approaches the desk and he's like, so you made these uh, changes recently. You instilled like uh, fire extinguishers in these many Mm -hmm. schools across Mm -hmm. Delhi. Mm -hmm. And she's she's like, yeah. And the judge just acknowledges that. That's good. That's commendable. And then, yeah. so that 
I was about to say that's right. not not something I would be happy with, but okay, yes. But still, it's no, an acknowledgement like, from true. That's and that was a little dramatic for me. I do <laughs> not know if folks would show, really show do it. The, the show made its point over there. Yes. And we just start thinking that oh, finally justice is going to be served because this uh, judge will have a, a change of heart and he'll finally look at the reality of the case of the tragedy. But then the music keeps on building when you get the first end card. Okay, that uh, they were jailed. In 2021 of December. But they, they were had, released after six And months. then the music drains out. And it's again gloomy. And you recall the last shot of the show. Where it's that case. The breaking of the fourth wall. It's Again, it's not just a gimmick. But it's a call. Mm-hmm. And it again shows. And it again re- reinforces the same unconventional narrative of the show. Of As Drew mentioned that even if 18 years have passed, it still feels like it's the same time, right? It is still 1997 when the journalist approached her by asking that what changed, what did you expect and all. So by having these uh, uh, reoccurring motives of her breaking the fourth wall at the end of first and last episode, it just reinforces that point even more. That yes, indeed, Mm -hmm. that it's we are all stuck in the same time. Mm-hmm. So, ac- acad- mm-hmm. academicians, or I don't know how to pronounce it. This is like a, a- academic's dream. This is the cyclical <laughs> kind of thing. Every uh, we want yeah, cynic, yeah. we we want cynical narratives. Book give ending. Us, give us them more. Uh, I know that's that's why you binge this. Show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I actually binge it really <laughs> along with so, tech along. Yeah. I mean, no, no, but like, anyways, my uh, my point is, I, I couldn't binge it very, I binge it very healthily though. Like, I watched one yeah, episode, yeah. I took notes, I took half an hour, mm-hmm. then I, like, I literally watched it throughout the whole day, and it's not, mm-hmm. uh, even if it's seven episodes, it's like forty five minutes each, so it's yeah. like not, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's not your, uh, I don't know, what's the comparison? Seven hours. It's like five hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, four yeah, hours, it's four and a half hours. Like I, I think like a, another great great thing that um, I mean, which of course has been mentioned everywhere, is the the camera work also. Yeah, uh, yeah I was about to say name check. Just generally is isn't. I think the last episodes the visual language is a bit different, but otherwise, I think mm. until yeah. those episodes, until I say I'll say like five episodes, the the fifth till the fifth. Swami episode, Ananda Sahi is the DOP. Swami, who's have, have you checked this filmography? No, please elaborate. Sir, you shot your favorite documentary. My favorite oh. documentary. Tase. Oh. Which one? All that breeds. All that breeds. No. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah but it's, yeah. that's a really well shot documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what I was coming to was, uh-huh. I mean, I know what it, you were I mean, going with the whole sarcastic yeah, yeah. language of it and how I yeah whatever. Oh, oh, oh sir, oh my God, you got it. But uh, what I was saying was, uh, he also shot E Balu, which is another oh, very. Okay. Oh. Delhi, Delhi Shadow, Shadow. Yes, they're very Delhi film. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so so the, what I was trying to tell was like he got like the whole tone of the whole Delhi nature of it. I mean, yeah. I told you also how rooted yes, it is sir. in like the whole Delhi, apart mm-hmm. from like Delhi crime. It comes I think from three people. Movie. So one of us is in Delhi, one of us has been in Delhi, and one of us yeah. comes has never Delhi visited very Delhi. often. <laughs> That's not sir, a bad thing. Thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Because so, all that breeds is hmm. in Gujarat at least. Oh God! <laughs> Are you sure you will be able to after you watch the documentary? <laughs> <laughs> that shall not okay. be named. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, what I was coming to was like how the camera work. If you notice specifically, was a lot about like just the camera panning. Yes. Most yeah. of the time, it was also about how they were revealing information and how the information was conveyed to us. So the film, I mean, the, the show was not just about the whole storytelling nature of it, I mean, mm. which is like ever present, but like how the information, drama. the information was provided to us. So it was, mm. since it's it's based on like a, hist- I mean, a, a, a real event, a real incident, mm. a tragedy of, I mean, uh, which happened in reality, the whole thing become, becomes a lot about the information that you have mm. about it. Mm-hmm. And yes. that you could get that you were getting with mostly the camera work exactly. with how, I mean, even in like, uh, like the Goswamis who were stuck in the car at the end in a mm-hmm. traffic jam, that shot is like a very long pan and goes to mm-hmm. their car because it's showing how 
like they're actually stuck in the middle of a traffic jam be a reference. which i mean never mind i think i know this possible reference. yes mm. i will not reference. say uh, it might be a reference because you vividly also see people sweating and getting restless right they're stuck in the traffic in the delhi yeah. so you also see people all sweaty and mm. so i think this this whole thing which i was pointing towards was about the information conveyance of yeah, yeah. information in general yeah. which is not just purely like a storytelling device but like the information yeah. telling device exposition yeah. done well by exposition done. show don't tell show don't tell basically show don't mm. tell. any words yes. on the performances central ones which we've largely bypassed i think you know it rajshree deshpande was like some on yeah. like on a different level altogether like i think mm. like even like the subtle things that she was doing i mean so many of them i think mm-hmm. abhay deval really uses his vanity so well by mm-hmm. understating every flinch every subtle emotion on his face this reminded me yeah. a lot of his performance in shanghai if i remember correctly mm-hmm. he's also playing what krishnan mm-hmm. there another ta- yes. tamilian i heard the who's... show has a bit of a problem with the getting start the south right or like the southerners and mm-hmm. north right but okay. i have i have not delved deep into it so i will not but i know that someone had written about it so mm. yes they can uh, they, <laughs> they can <laughs> i think i only have to say that abhedeval is hot but that's not how he acts <laughs> sorry <laughs> no mr no, i i is, uh, i thought he was no, the, the, that performance is stunning is is all like it it mm. was so 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 stunning that i ended up then actually learning about learning more about the person who plays person. this yeah, role who i have yeah. completely forgotten now the name yeah. of so uh, shekhar De- uh, shekhar krishnamurthy shekhar krishnamurthy no yeah. no no mrs krishnamurthy who plays neelam neelam oh, rashri deshpande rashri deshpande <laughs> she's a real life uh, actress Yes, yes, I feel. Yeah, even I went I down up. that episode. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. So I ended yeah. up actually like then learning about yeah, uh, their their whole work and character and everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that, and a lot mm-hmm. of lot of Instagram was talked. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was there in Sacred Games also, which you haven't seen. But oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. She was there. Oh, that was an equally really good show. Which that is an was... equally good show, which has its own merits. Yeah, I agree. Oh, man. Man. Which character did she play? Yes. Why are you uh, she played like some this discussion wife. about like I know I know that is exactly what I was told like the person who I was talking with was just like are you have to watch this is I was like oh sorry I haven't watched Sacred Games and <laughs> you can watch the, the first season and bail out no, like, watch, also watch, watch, watch. the moment no also watch the second season no listen to the you can watch the first season and bail out There's and no also the second something season you should like, complete the whole I'm story I'm just not interested in it is all no no that something. makes sense <laughs> no it's fine <laughs> Yeah. Rup, do you want to add anything more or anyone else? Oh uh, no, my only the other pun that got not pun, but my I told you that my garbage joke number two. Netflix <laughs> making a cinema of uh, making a film about a cinema burning down. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> that is it. I think you need to work on your comic that timing. Huh? That's all. <laughs> I know. I know. I was think, but where where could I have inserted this? Eat this out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I specifically, I specifically asked Sanjeet separately. Can am I allowed to make this tasteless joke in a show which is very taste, like very well made and very well uh, judged? But I, it, it the could, fourth it episode, I started like thinking about for that cake that they end up eating half. Yeah, I, I was like in the fourth episode, I started thinking about Net, why is Netflix producing this show, and then I was like, yeah, of course, it's for the demise of, of cinema. Okay. I think this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for listening to us and thank you so much for supporting. Please uh, make sure you follow us on Spotify and rate us on Spotify. It helps us to reach out to more people. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, you can follow Dhruv on his Instagram at Terminal Cinema. You can follow Aryan at Aryan Talks Film. Um, you can follow Andrew Life. Do you want in people Twitter, to follow him? On Twitter. Right? On Twitter. On yes. Twitter. Okay, the link would Leave be down in, in the description. I, I don't know her yes. Twitter handle. Yeah, I don't know what Twitter and or you can follow me at Pixel Baba. Um, thank you so much for listening. Please share it with friends who would like to listen more about films. And if you have any recommendations or any suggestions, please you can DM us on our Instagram as well. Um, thank you again for listening. This is the end of the episode. Khatam. Madam, that's a junky that you talking about. Oh, Madhuradas. 
इससे पहले कि मैं तुझे गद्दार करार देकर गोली मार दू बहुत जाए 